During my childhood, I started drawing like anything I saw from a book. So in kindergarten, I can remember drawing like Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse like repeatedly. It was basically my outlet growing up. My family was really strict. They're from another country. They wouldn't let me play sports. I had to come straight home from school and I went to church like five days a week. <laughs> I know my mom had, um, she was uh, mentally ill. Um, when I was 11, she was diagnosed with um, schizophrenic. I ended up going into foster care. I guess I was a rebellious child, so I really stood up for wanting to do other things that American kids were doing during that time. So they told me I couldn't play sports, and I, I stayed after school. And I would get the repercussions when I got home, but I didn't care because I wanted to do what was right for me. And I didn't do anything wrong. I was just a kid wanting to do what the other kids are doing. There was a woman named Mallory. She definitely supported me as an artist. Um, she's um, actually Caucasian, and I was her babysitter for her kids. And she heard about what was happening, and she decided to take foster care classes. And then at the age of 13, she became my foster mom. Six months prior to her being uh, my foster mom, I went from different homes and had like crazy stuff happen to me. I remember one home I went into, the woman, her kids like took my entire suitcase of clothes. They dropped me off at a group home and when my foster mom ended up finishing up all the paperwork and, and, and picking me up, I had nothing but the clothes I had on my back. Moments like that I would never forget. And that's why um, a lot of my work now focuses on um, helping the youth out because you never know what they're going through in their home life. And if it wasn't for my art, I have no idea where I would be right now. I was working at a hotel as a night auditor. I worked at the UPS store part-time and I did my art. Those are the type of jobs I had to do to survive. And um, a few friends of mine were actually photographers and they always needed makeup artists. And I guess since they thought I was an artist, I could do makeup. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I went to a Mac store at St. John's Town Center and one of the managers there, Tanya, I will never forget her. I guess she really liked my look and told me that they were hiring and I knew really nothing about makeup. I went on YouTube to get through my interview. And since then it really changed my life and I was able to quit both jobs and only have that one job because it made, I made enough to support myself and my, and my children. I think it was like four years ago, I think I had like a mild stroke, TIA is what they told me I had. And uh, it was the weirdest thing, like my arm started to be really numb. So I went and got checked out for that. And they gave me some type of nerve pain medicine and taking the nerve pain medicine ended up paralyzing half my body. So it was the worst thing that ever happened to me. I thought I was not gonna have a career with um, my art and makeup and um, I literally had to like rehabilitate myself. Actually in September, I went on a 12 day meditation retreat. It's called Vipassana meditation. And it allowed me to kind of start healing from some of the things I went through going up. Before the meditation retreat, I was kind of just painting pretty pictures or painting things that, you know, people I loved. But now I'm actually doing work that actually um, can make a difference in someone's life. You know, I really want to be able to help influence kids to one day become an artist, um, teach a little bit of history. That's what my work's about right now. It's about the community and being, a, being an, uh, an activist and talking about things that people are afraid to speak about and also sharing my life, you know. Hopefully the trend keeps going and people are catch on, you know, and notice that, hey, art is where it's at, you know, support an artist, buy some art, you never know, it might be the next Basquiat. <laughs>